Hello, my name is Alicia and this is Enlightenment Newbie. And I feel inclined to tell everyone I just got out of the shower. I mean, I don't care. I just feel like you should know that I don't care in case you care. This is my tarot series where I take a look at one card and two images and read from the only tarot book you'll ever need by Sky Alexander and Mary Shannon. Today I've pulled all swords, so that's interesting. I, you know what gets me is I'm an air sign. So each of these suits are associated with um, an element. And swords are wind or air, you know, so that should be me. So I should feel some kinship towards this, but I don't. I think it's because swords in, in my eyes are um, the cards that are telling you you should be making the decisions. Like you should be getting on with, you should go, like make it, deal with it very analytical, very, um, just pretty much like an air sign. You're in your head, right? And you just need to make the decision and move forward. And you're going to really see this in the next card. I read, which is the eight of swords. So I'm going to show you the non-traditional eight of swords, which is right here. I'll tell you what I think about that. And then this is the traditional eight of swords. So when I take a look at this, I mean, clearly she's very loosely bound. It's like a ribbon running through the swords and, and she has her hands free. She could very easily take off her blindfold and navigate down the hill and through the swords, but she's in her own way and she can't take the blindfold off. We've all been there. It's irritating, right? Ugh. Like I like I live my life this way. What? So in the traditional Eight of Swords, it's very similar. She has swords not necessarily all around her, but to the side of her and in front of her. She's very loosely bound. And the and the blindfold's like riding up. You guys see that? She could easily wiggle out of that and lift up the blindfolds or just take a step forward. I don't know how scared I'd be if I knew there were swords all around me or if I'd kind of like try to like nudge a little. I don't know. I've never been in that situation, but if I was caught and loose, I'd at least try to like like one of these, you know? Or you like try to lift up the blindfold so they still protect, like you, you're, they think you're bound, you know, but you're just kind of, you know what I'm saying? But again, swords are mental. So this is not a physical prison. This is a mental one. Okay. The tension of the eight of swords is related to that of the two. Two of swords. Ah, okay. That's the lady or person who has a blindfold and she's got like two swords. Yeah. Um, except that the two indicates denial. While the eight suggests you are conscious of the choices available. Despite this, you feel trapped, either unable or unwilling to choose and therefore stuck in a painful state. You are your own worst enemy. I literally, before I came home and take a shower, I put a short that said you were your own worst critic and worst enemy. Because all you do is sit there and judge yourself against some <laughs> level standard that you put on yourself. And there's absolutely no reason to do that. Like, you showed up, you did the thing, you should be proud of yourself. I'm not saying everyone should get a trophy, but I'm saying like, don't self-talk in a negative way because that only affects everything else you do in your life. Upright. 
Most writers view this as an extremely negative card. The card describes a situation that causes great unhappiness, but you can change matters. The bad situation is temporary. And if the card falls in the future position, I'm not too good at card positions. I just always pull five because that's what I'm inclined to pull. But if the card falls in the future position, the problem can be avoided. Well, great. I think most everything can be avoided, but I don't think you should avoid your problems. Huh? Huh, Alice? That was in the last video. She's sleeping under a whole bunch of swords. Four of swords. Reversed. This card reversed warns that what is already wrong can get worse or that a difficult situation is approaching. Make sure all of your affairs are in the best possible order. If you've been putting off paying your taxes, getting insurance, or settling some legal matter, take care of it promptly. Your well-being depends on using your head and preparing for unexpected emergencies. Hmm. Yeah. That pretty much, pretty much, I mean, it's, it's, I would consider these cards straightforward in, in interpretation, um, no matter really who looked at them. And we've all experienced situations in which we can't get out of our own minds. So, unfortunately, I don't see this, like, there's no negative card, there's no bad cards, but it's more of, like, the card that <laughs> pops up and, okay, you know that best friend that will tell you the truth and you're like, oh, I didn't want to hear that, but you know, like, you know they're right, like, you know they're right, you just want to hear it. That's the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is your best friend who's not going to, you know, flip you. Mm. You know how hard it is for me not to cuss? Uh, really hard because I cuss all the time. I'm being completely honest, but I'm trying to not cuss. So um, if I say weird things, that's because my brain goes to beep. Me. Okay, guys, my name is Alicia, and this is Enlightenment Newbie. We have two more cards left in this series, so I hope that you go ahead and watch those. Like and subscribe as well. It really helps me out. Gets the content out for other people who may be looking for this. So, thanks. Bye.